Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick update and tell everyone that I'm going to be entering a bodybuilding show on the 30th of June. So it means I am three and a half weeks out, okay? And it feels kind of funny to be saying that, like, oh yeah, like I'm three and a half weeks out because obviously, you know, saying your X amount of time out away from a competition is a pretty big thing in the fitness industry, okay? So three and a half weeks out of my first, of my debut. So I'm going to be doing men's physique, um... And that's kind of perfect for me because my quads are definitely an area that is lacking and I'm not the biggest guy by like any stretch of the imagination, okay? But I do think I'm pretty aesthetic, okay? So I think my shoulders are pretty broad. Um, my waist is quite small, which is kind of what the division is basically all about. So I'm going to be doing that on the 30th June in the West Midlands. So that's going to be like a really cool experience. And one of the reasons why I want to do this is because I do want to really shred down and I get super, super lean. But also it's because that's what Jeff Sy did, okay? So I watched the Arnold documentary, okay? And he talked about how if you want to do something and someone else has done it before, then that means you have the blueprint. And if you follow the blueprint, then there's no reason why you can't get there, okay? So Jeff Sy, he's a guy that I really, really look up to. You know, he really inspired me to, to work out and like make videos, listen to OG Hardstyle and all of that, all that stuff. So Seeing him do that uh, when he was 19, I'm 20 now, like, so I'm actually a year older, but I look younger, like, quite a bit younger, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, and it's debatable whether he was natural in there. I mean, I like to think he was, I like to think he was, but who knows? I'm 100% natural, so I'm going to be doing this show, I'm going to be shredding down, I'm not going to be taking clenbuterol or anavol or anything else to get super, super lean. I'm just going to be in a sort of 700 um, calorie, like, caloric deficit. So, that should get me pretty lean. I'm going to be doing cardio and I'm kind of going to just be reducing my activity throughout the day to be less tired. And also I'm going to be cutting out alcohol. Uh, and if you watch me and you watch a lot of my vids, you know that I do like partying. I like going out and doing all those things. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to take a break from that for the uh, next couple of weeks and really dial in. Um, and it could be a great opportunity to meet some potential sponsors, some other people in the industry, kind of grow my name. And also with the coaching services that I'm doing, uh, it's going to sort of really test me and prove that I do know what I'm talking about. I do know how to, to get in really, really good shape. Um, and I'm not going to have a coach. I'm going to be self-coached as that is what Jeff Side did. Uh, he just won and won and won and won um, until he then went to the like Olympia where the, the, the size and the requirements to be that size when you had to be taking a lot of gear. And he didn't do that, okay, obviously. Um, he had like a very sort of publicly mass appeal kind of physique and it's something that i like seek to emulate a lot you know like i'm a huge fucking jeff side fan and seeing him compete again i was like damn it's time it's time so i saw a post on instagram today so it's pca first time this show so that's for the first time you've ever stood on stage which uh is for me you know i've never ever done this before um and it's going to be really really fun so it means i'm going to be getting really really lean i'm probably gonna get leaner than I've ever got the leanest I've ever been was when I was 18 when I was at boarding school a couple months before I left um, around May and that was because I was just eating purely pretty much just meat. I cut out a lot of sugar and I got really really lean however I'm seeking to go further and better this time as I'm living as fast forward two years I'm out of boarding school I'm living in my own house I have access to like my own kitchen shops gyms Everything now really is on my terms, whereas before when I was at school, you know, I had to be eating what they like had the canteen. Obviously, then I would kind of then just just choose what I want to eat. Like, like I'd have multiple helpings of chicken and that kind of thing. But now I'm in a position where I'm older, I'm bigger. And um, really, it just seems like a really good time to do it, you know, because also that way, then I can be lean for summer. I'm going to the Lake District with some of my friends a couple of days after that. So that'd be cool to get some like cool drone shots in the mountains and all of that, you know, some like some Greek God, like kind of kind of stuff. So it's awesome. And it's going to be a fun experience getting like really tanned as well. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I guess I have to work on a routine and uh, I need to submit like some music and stuff. I'm going to do that routine, too. So I was at the gym today and uh, a guy like came up to me and I was kind of like flexing in the mirror after my workout, you know, I was like doing some poses and he, he kind of like helped me like with some of the poses and we, we just started talking and he said, yeah, you know, like um, I think you have pretty good potential, you know, you've got sort of broad shoulders, narrow waist and some, some good muscle insertion. So I thought, 
all right, cool, let's do it, let's do it, let's literally go and do it, because I've kind of wanted to do two things uh, for a while, I've wanted to do a bodybuilding show and a powerlifting meet, um, and a boxing match, so I've done the boxing match, I'm doing the bodybuilding show, and then I will do a powerlifting meet at some point, and then once I've got those initial experiences, then I can continue to then like progress uh, in more and more of those things. One mentality that I've really had recently is just don't be afraid of failing, okay? Like, it, it doesn't matter because unless you attempt it, you've already failed. Like, you haven't even attempted it, which is worse than failing. And you only fail when you don't try, okay? So as long as you try, hey, look, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. But I am wanting to win this show. I don't really know how reasonable that is. Seeing as it's a first timer, I'm kind of hoping the guys aren't going to be like crazy. But in the division for my height, I'm right at the boundary of the height cutoff. So it means I'm going to be one of the taller guys there. So that means that, you know, like I'm going to be like my frame is going to be bigger than quite a lot of these guys. Um, and I think I've been working away. I think my package is decent, you know. So I just got to really shred down, tan up, turn up there and be on good form. Uh, supplement wise, um, I'm going to be taking some uh, fat burners, uh, I've never taken fat burners before but I'm going to experiment with them and, and see what they're saying of course, nothing illegal, only just over the counter stuff, uh, because I'm natural, you know, I want to promote like natural stuff, I don't want to promote anything that causes internal organ damage, uh, accelerated aging, balding, uh, infertility, any of those kind of things because that's not what like bodybuilding, weightlifting and gym should be about, gym should be about health and longevity, okay, and taking anabolic compounds that are illegal, and they're illegal for a reason, because they're bad for you, okay, don't take steroids, don't do it, you'll mess yourself up later, so, yeah, I really just want to promote this uh, healthy, healthy lifestyle, and, uh, you know, really give it my best shot, and I'm super, super excited for what's going to come, so, please leave a like, and subscribe, and if you want to reach out to me for personal coaching, you can just send me a uh, DM on Instagram, There'll be a link tree in the bottom, so just find one there. Send me a DM. All right, take care, everyone.